name is Jan Carlos Arroyo, and I'm the hurdles coach for the track and field program at IMG Academy. Today, we'll be covering how to become a better hurdler. So our first drill of the day is a claw back and skip over the hurdle drill. It's a drill that we use to emphasize good force application and takeoff mechanics. Our hurdler, Victor Steiner, is gonna be showing off the drill where he's gonna accentuate takeoff mechanics and grab back action. Go ahead, Victor. Say Dorsey flex on that trail leg, and snap it back. Yes. That covers our first introductional drill, which we call claw back and step skip over the hurdle. Our second drill of the day is a skip skip hurdle. This drill continues to emphasize good takeoff mechanics, good force application, and now with the coach can be able to address some of the over the hurdle mechanics like arm positioning, arm block, and trailer leg action. Go ahead, Victor. Keep noticing how he grabs back and stays tight over the hurdle. We want our hurdlers to create great force over the hurdle, and we want them to stay tight over the hurdle with that trail leg comes real close on their body. One more time, Victor. Right back, see how he pulls back. This is a great drill as a progression number two to teach our hurdlers how the grab back feels at a higher velocity. For our third and final drill of the day, we're gonna have a progressive hurdle drill. This drill is to emphasize rhythm and we keep emphasizing takeoff mechanics. Go ahead, Victor. As you can see, Victor is using a three-step rhythm. This is the key and most important thing to teach young hurdlers, to use three steps between hurdles. No matter what spacing coaches use, it's important to teach all athletes to have three steps in between hurdles. The second most important part of this drill is to emphasize that takeoff mechanics so they can improve their speed through every hurdle. Today we covered three drills on how to become a better hurdler. Be on the lookout for more how-to videos from IMG Academy.